This is the Shock Absorber Netball Academy at intusport.com. It's important to master the shoulder pass because it's one of the most versatile passes and you'll use it regularly in matches. For this drill, you'll need to be in pairs. If you want to practice this skill on your own, then have a look at the wall shoulder pass drill. For this drill, stand opposite your practice partner, a few meters apart, with one ball between the two of you. Pass the ball back and forth, concentrating on creating enough force behind the pass that the ball travels quickly to your teammate. Remember to move the ball to just behind your shoulder quickly from the catching point and transfer your weight forward as the pass is released. Your hands should finish pointing at the pass target. Once you're comfortable at this distance and can consistently make accurate passes, try increasing the space between you. Again, concentrate on keeping enough force behind the pass to keep its path flat and delivering the pass accurately. Use both hands to throw passes and practice stepping forward on both sides too. As you throw each pass, make a mental note of how accurate you are. First, try to throw three to land in the same place in a row, then five, and so on. The more you challenge yourself, the more you'll concentrate on throwing accurate passes. Finally, move further apart and continue the drill. At this furthest distance, you'll find it most difficult to throw accurate passes. So remember, the more you practice, the easier you'll find it. At this distance, you'll also probably need to step into the pass to generate enough power for the pass to carry to your partner. Make sure you practice stepping forward with both feet, including the same foot as your throwing arm. Also, you'll need to throw passes with your dominant and non-dominant hand. This will also help you to practice coordinating the quick transfer from cat's position to throwing position on both sides. Finally, if you're coordinating this drill as a coaching exercise, then players should have good balance throughout the action, with eyes on the target, and the ball should fly flat to the receiver over short distances, and only a little arc in the flight over the furthest distance. Make sure that each player concentrates on maintaining good technique as the drill gets harder, and challenge the players to get the ball into position quickly above their throwing arm, so as not to waste movement between catching and the passing ready position. Intersports.com the home of world-class sports coaching online.